Hey everybody, my name is Mr. Martin. And I'm Mr. Mark. Parents, by now you should have your kids sitting with you watching this video. Um, if you don't have them, please go and get them. We're gonna ask for you to hang out with your kids during the video so that you can help them respond to our social questions in the chat. But please, let us know who we're talking to. Yeah, we wanna know uh, who's tuning in today, who's involved in the chat. So just make sure that if the chat is programmed to your name that you're putting your kid's name before their responses so that we know who we're getting to talk to and who we're getting to see uh, this week. Yeah, and we definitely want to say hi to all of our kids and all of our families, all of our volunteers. We miss you guys. We love the fact that we're able to do this right now. Absolutely. So, Mr. Martin, let's get into it. Yeah, our social question is very interesting this week. It is, what helps you keep going? Helps you keep going. That's a great question because right now with everything going on, the whole quarantine thing, a lot has stopped. It like, And not much is going. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff just not going, like obviously like not going to the gym. You know, there's a lot of stuff like not going to our friend's house. There's a lot of stuff like not going to school, not going to parks. There's a lot of things that are just not going. You know, maybe even like some people aren't motivated and they're just not going. Hmm. Yeah, it almost seemed like we were not going to be able to still teach kids on a weekly basis. Yeah, it definitely did seem that way. You know what's kind of cool, though, Mr. Mark? There are a lot of things that God has helped to be into place to make sure that we can keep going. Yeah, I think one of the things that has helped us to keep going is technology. Technology. You know, it's kind of interesting. We definitely fumbled around with technology a little bit in the beginning while we were trying to talk to kids. Yeah, so I learned... Now, before all this, I would use my cell phone to communicate with people when I couldn't be around them yeah. by texting. Did you know that a cell phone can also do this thing called making phone calls? Yes, yes, it's an archaic thing where you actually dial somebody's number, yes. not just text to somebody's number, and then you can call them and hear their voice. It's for crazy. Real. And it's live. So, We've been able to make phone calls. Make phone calls. And there's also something called video calling. Video calling. Now, video calling for me has been an experience. It's something new to me. And one day, I was so overwhelmed because my boss decided to video call me three different ways. So I get a, a FaceTime call, yeah. which is like an Apple thing. And then that signal wasn't strong enough. So you said, hold on. And all of a sudden it says, Facebook video call. I'm like, okay. And then you said, what about this Google Hangouts thing? And all of a sudden I have an email saying, come to my Google Hangout. And then I'm dealing with other people and they're like, come to my Zoom meeting. And there are all of these ways to keep communication and teaching going. Yeah, there's a couple of different ways to keep communication going. I think that um, this week, it's very, very important for us to remember the Bible verse. And the Bible verse is Galatians 6, 9. It says right here, let us not become tired of doing good. At the right time, we will gather a crop if we don't give up. Yeah, we could have easily have given up and said, well, I guess we have to wait however long to see the kids again. But instead we waited and we kept going. And now we're able to do videos like this and have chats alongside them to keep going and to keep having new kids. Yeah, you know, this week's Bible lesson is really, really cool. It takes place in the book of Acts. And what we're going to see as we watch the video together is there's gonna be a special guest on the so-and-so show talking to our hosts on the so-and-so show. And I don't wanna give it away, but there is a very interesting way that she communicates. Why don't we watch that and check out and see what happens? Yeah, definitely. Let's see how other people keep going through communicating different ways. And remember, we want to hear your answers to the question, what helps you to keep going? We'll be answering while we're watching the video. We'll see you guys in the chat. See you guys in the chat. Mm. Mm.
Oh yeah. Hello everyone. My name's John. And I'm Brandon. And this is the uh... Hey buddy, you okay? So and so show! This is the so and so show. That's what it is. What is going on with you? I, I haven't been able to sleep lately. I'm just exhausted. I'm sorry to hear that. Why aren't why aren't you sleeping well? I've been doing this thing to make a little extra money where I teach English to kids in other countries on the internet. Oh, don't you have to know other languages to do that? No, no, it's called language immersion. So I'm just supposed to talk to them in English and after a while they just pick it up. Oh, well that's really great, but... Yeah, it's really, uh... Huh, it's really great. Yeah. <sighs> he still didn't explain why he wasn't sleeping. Uh, it's because I have to get up at three in the morning to teach English to kids in China because that's when it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon over there. Huh. Then I take a two hour nap before I have to wake up to talk to some kids in Italy. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. Time zones, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, another thing. I... <laughs> John. John! Hey, bud. It's time to... Ah, I'm sorry! He's really out. Soccer isn't a real sport. Who dares? Great, you're up. Uh, we, we really need to start the show. Oh, oh, okay. It's time for someone who knows stuff. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm sorry, we're not used to having two guests on at the same time. Uh, is one of you supposed to be here next week? No, I'm pretty sure we're at the right week. Uh, uh, there are two people here, right? I, uh, or am I just sleep deprived? No, you're fine. Uh, okay, uh, tell us uh, who you are and what you know. My name is Mariah Miller and I am an engineer for Velcro. I, I am sorry, I am so tired. Which one of you is Mariah? I'm a Oh. And I'm Cheryl, Mariah's assistant and sign language interpreter. You'll hear my voice, but really, it's Mariah doing the talking. She's the brains of this operation. Oh, oh, nice. Okay, wait, so you're, you're sign, this is sign language right now that you're doing? Oh. Do, you, do you mind if I ask, how long has she been... Um, you can talk to oh, her. Oh, sorry. How long have you been uh, hearing impaired? I was born deaf, and I can't remember a time when I didn't know sign language. Obviously, I can speak a little bit, but having Cheryl in my life has made it so much easier. Aw, thank you. <laughs> so, 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 wait, you've... You've, ne you've never been able to hear. It, uh, that must be hard. It's hard. But I'm not going to lie. Having, in here, having a hearing impairment doesn't make me any less capable than any other person. I go through the hard stuff like everyone else. Hmm. Plus, I try to look for the good in everything. Oh, oh how do you mean? Well, I'm not able to hear now, but I know this amazing, beautiful language, sign language, mm -hmm. and I'm able to focus and keep out input from other people. Yeah. <laughs> if someone wants to talk to me, I don't really want to talk to them, and they can't get my attention. Uh, even if they're yelling, I just don't have to look at them. Oh. I'm teasing. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. All right, we really ought to talk about uh, Velcro. No, no, no. Uh, can you teach me some sign language? This is how we say thank you. Oh, thank you. Cool. This is how we say I love you. I love you. Uh, yeah. 
You got it. Okay. It's a little I for I. Uh-huh. All right. Okay, L I got it. for love. Ah, y for you. There. I love you. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, well, seriously, we're running out of time. Is there anything about Velcro you can tell us really quick? Velcro was modeled from a burr from a plant that the inventor found that was stuck on his pant legs after a walk with his dog. Wow. Hmm. It was also used in the first heart surgery to keep the heart together. Now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have Velcro inside the astronaut's helmet in case they want to scratch their nose. No kidding. You oh. want to try it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I want to try. Yep, that feels <laughs> good. It works. It works. It's true. Ooh. Yeah, that's like, <laughs> lovely. Hey, thank you so much for coming on the show, uh, uh, Mariah, and you too, Cheryl. Thank you so You're much. You're welcome. Yes. Uh, um, is, is there, uh, how do you clap? Is there a sign? Yeah. Oh, 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 like that, like that. Okay, okay. Nice. How do you say bye? Uh, oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Can't believe it. I didn't you know, know that. You know sign one. language. I know. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah, it really was. <laughs> now I'm going to take a nap. Oh, man. We have to. Ah, no. Ah, oh. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Hold on. What are you doing? I, 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 it's time for me to teach a kid who's calling in from Moldova. Just, it, just act like I'm not here. Just keep going. Just act like I'm not here. So same as usual. Hello, my name, I, I'm your teacher. My name is John. J. Yeah. Uh, what is your name? While he's doing that. Shh, it's shush. Oh, hi, Maxim. Uh, what is the weather like where you are here? It is sunny. It's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> hey, y'all. Shh. Oh, um. Hey, y'all. No, this is ridiculous. Kellen can't be quiet the whole time. We're doing a show. I'm sorry, Maxim. No, 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 no. It's fine. I, I... You'll be speaking English this time, won't you, Kellen? This time, yes. Great! Maxim, this is your new teacher, Kellen. It's, it's, it's a really long word. Go ahead, Kellen. Okay, then. Today's story takes place on a day we call Pentecost. This was after Jesus had risen from the dead and after he had been taken up into heaven. And if you remember, before Jesus left, he gave his followers a mission to tell the whole world about him from one end of the earth to the other. Seems impossible, right? Well, wait till you see what happens in this reenactment by your favorite acting troupe, the So-and-So Show Players. <laughs> On the day of Pentecost in the city of Jerusalem, the followers of Jesus gathered together in one place. So what have you been up to since Jesus died, was resurrected, and then arose to heaven? I've been telling everyone I know about our risen Savior. Yeah, nice. Me too. Me too. Do you think that we're going to be able to tell the entire world? Well, I've told about like 50 people so far. How many people are in the whole world? Millions. Oh. Suddenly, a sound from heaven came like a strong wind. Oh, you hear that? Yeah. I, what is... <gasps> what, what is that? They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues. I don't know, but I'm sure we don't have the budget to animate it. They're right. So the flames separated and came to rest on the followers of Jesus in the house. They were filled with the Holy Spirit. Oh, wow. That was incredible. C'est magnifique. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, are you speaking? A different language? Mamma mia! What? Oh, 
<laughs> it's true. I am speaking French. And I am speaking fluent Italian. Oh, <laughs> and yet we understand each other. <laughs> Potpourri, au duv encore. Bertoli, prego, ragu. <laughs> yeah. So, when they were filled with the Holy Spirit, all those gathered began to speak in languages they hadn't known before, not in bad French and Italian accents. Fair dinkum. Nah, I'm speaking Australian. <laughs> Throw another shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> Boomerangs. Anyway, in Jerusalem that day, People from a bunch of other countries had gathered for an annual festival. And when they had heard the Jesus followers speaking their own language, they were amazed. Wow, that guy's speaking Australian, even though he's not from Australia. Cheerio! And I do believe I heard a Galilean speaking British at tea time. Spit spot. Oh boy. Again. The followers of Jesus were speaking languages they hadn't known before, and to be clear, none of them were speaking English. The point is that all the people visiting Jerusalem from other countries understood what the Jesus followers were saying. So they understood when one of the followers, Peter, stepped forward. <gasps> what an entrance. I got chills. Let me explain something to you. Jesus was nailed to the cross, but God raised him from the dead. <gasps> Raper. How wonderful. <laughs> Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yes. What, what should, should we, we do? do? Turn away from your sins and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then you'll be forgiven. And you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. <gasps> Are you in? Does an emu fly? <laughs> Does it? I don't know. <clears throat> We're in, mate. That day, 3,000 people from different countries and different languages became followers of Jesus. And they would take the story of Jesus back to their own homes and tell the story in their own language. So people from one end of the earth to the other would hear the good news. Isn't that amazing? Totally, really amazing. And speaking of amazing, let's give a big round of applause for the So-and-So Show players. Okay, wow, that, the Holy Spirit helped those Jesus followers do the impossible. I wish I had that. You do. Really? Yeah, anyone who puts their faith in Jesus has the Holy Spirit. Then why can't I speak Australian? First, you can, and second, Having the Holy Spirit doesn't mean you have the power to do whatever you want, whenever you want, but the Holy Spirit can help you keep going when things seem too hard for you alone. That's great. Good on you, Kelly. Uh -huh. Hey, I can speak Australian. Blah, blah, blah. We'll see you next time, Kellen. <laughs> Thanks for the story. You bet. Bye, guys. Bye, Maxim. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, right, 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 right. Good job today, Maxim. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow for your next lesson. Okay, bye. Hi. Are you done for the day? Yeah, just only 18 more classes to go. Oh, John, I, listen, I think that this new teaching job is a great idea, but you might be overdoing it, don't you think? Are you kidding me? I'm good. The Holy Spirit can just get me through it. I know, but the Holy Spirit can also help you to be wise. You gotta have sleep, bud. John. John! Reveal the question! The question of the day is, what helps you keep going? Mm, sometimes coffee. Sometimes running in place. Oh, what helps you keep going? Not just when you're tired, when things are hard, or when things are boring, maybe. What's something you can do, or something you can think about to help you keep going? Talk about it together. And we'll see you next time. We'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Are you okay? I need a vacation. Okay. Today we're gonna go over simple objects. Simple objects. Paper. This is a piece of paper. 
This is a C-clamp device for mobile phones and other electronic devices. Can you say that? C-clamp device. Can you say outdated audiovisual tech? This is a heavy chair. These are rocket boosters for a shuttle program discontinued by NASA. You'll use that one a lot. You'll use that one a lot. It's right up there with where's the bathroom. That was a great video, Mr. Martin. Yeah, it was great. What are we doing right now? We're clapping in sign language. Clapping in sign language. You know, this is really, really cool. I really like it because it's quiet and doesn't interfere with the recording, but we can still say thank you for a wonderful video. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I think that in the video that we saw today, uh, there was a really, really awesome guest, and she used sign language to speak. If anyone is interested in using sign language, there is an app called the ASL American Sign Language app. And you can use that to communicate with people that maybe can't speak like you or I. That's really cool. I think it's what's really cool too, along with that, is that we have the opportunity to communicate so many different ways. Like we were talking about early on, whether it's with video chatting yep. or our phones or the internet or learning a new language like sign language, um, we have all of these gifts and technologies available. But what's even better is that God gave us the Holy Spirit yes. to keep us going. Yes. And that even though the Holy Spirit doesn't always help us with a new language, the Holy Spirit might help us to pray for somebody. Absolutely. Or if somebody needs to be healed, the Holy Spirit can help us heal people. Yep. And even just sometimes when we're nervous and we're afraid to take the next step, the Holy Spirit is there as the power of God to keep us going. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, for me, I always rely on that one verse that says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. And I know that Jesus sent the Holy Spirit for me to strengthen me. And I think that that's really, really cool. Um, so remembering that I have the Holy Spirit with me all day is something that reminds me whenever I have a problem with determination or doing something and making sure that it gets done, the Holy Spirit really, really helps me out with that a lot. Yeah. So by now, we've learned that the Holy Spirit helps us keep going. Yes. But I know that you guys have probably come up with even more answers in the chat, some that we've already gotten to talk to you about. So keep those answers coming. When we're done here, we're going to keep the chat open for a little while to continue this conversation about what helps you keep going. Yeah. Even when things stopping, they're not going. Maybe you guys have some really, really genius ways to help things keep going. And Maybe the Holy Spirit gave them to you. I can't wait to hear about them. Yeah, I'm so excited. And the, one of the ways that we're going to keep going this week on determination is through social media. So kids, if your parents have already walked out of the room, grab them real quick. Uh, but hopefully parents, you've hung out with your kids through this whole time. We just want to encourage you that on our Facebook, that's facebook.com slash newkidsnj, and our Instagram, at newkidsnj, we post videos and photos and content throughout the whole week. Coming up in just two days, we're gonna post an object lesson that yes. further enforces the idea of the Holy Spirit yeah. being the power that keeps us going. Um, we have practice activities, we have conversation starters with your kids, more questions for you to talk about, a whole bunch of stuff, but we need you to stay engaged on social media to do that. Please keep going to our social media pages so that we can keep going with new kids. I see what you did there with the whole keep going thing. You like that? I like that. I thought that was a really, really great and encouraging way to keep this going. That was great. I wonder how long we can keep this going. We could probably keep this going for quite some time. Is it still going? Maybe we should get going. We can't get going because we have to answer in the chat. All right. Well, we're going to get going to the chat. So thank you guys for tuning in again this week. We love you so much, and we can't wait to do this in person. We'll see you in the chat. Bye, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Still going. Keep going. This is just going. On and on. Keep going. I'm going. <laughs> <laughs>